This is Renee Romeo of ReneeRomeo.com. Today's project is learning how to make a fabric covered button. Now I've shown you this before in some of my upholstery videos where I'm actually making tufted ottomans, uh, but this is a great project to do for so many things around your house. So you're going to need this cover button kit and it comes in a lot of different sizes so you know whatever your project is make sure you're choosing the appropriate size button for whatever project you have. And this comes with a mold and this mold is a rubber piece that the button itself is going to lay into and then it has a hard plastic piece that fits inside the mold which is going to get everything to lock in place and get your fabric covered button looking perfect. So. There's the top of your fabric button, and here's the back piece. So the back piece, you'll see, it's just a piece of aluminum. Now, you can wash this, you can dry clean this once it's all covered, depending on whatever fabric you use. Now, I'm starting out with a 3 quarter inch size. So according to this, now I have a very small pattern here, and I'm just going to uh, pick a little motif out of this pattern that it's going to fit right on top of the button. So all I'm going to do here is just kind of cut this out uh, a bit larger than the circle of the So this is how much fabric I have all the way around the button. That's just fine because it's going to tuck into the back side. So this is going to be placed face side down into the little mold. The little button cover goes on face side down and just press it directly into that mold. Now you're going to take all of this fabric and you're going to tuck it in to the center and then you'll take your back piece and this is the one with the little loop so you're just going to take that loop and place it straight on top just like so. So that's what you've got. Then you'll take your plastic piece. Now we're using the open side down. It's just going to make it easier for you to press this in place. You'll see I'm using a piece of cotton. So this is going to be very easy to do with just my thumb. And I'm pressing this in place. So it's clicked, and I'm going to pop it out and look at that button. It's gorgeous. So let's do a 1 and an eighth inch button. And generally you would think that you'd be able to use a thicker fabric on this, but you'll kind of see, uh, I have a little example here of some velvet, which is really thick, and this is not going to be able to snap in place uh, like the other button. So I'm using this really pretty jacquard fabric and I'm just going to lay it in the center of this mold so that I can kind of isolate this diamond. Um, it's big enough to be able to do that and if you did this over the course of several buttons in a row uh, it would look really really pretty and very well planned out. Now you'll see there's a little too much fabric here so what you can do at this point is you can wait to trim out your fabric until you get it into the mold like so. This will tuck in nicely, so you're going to tuck all of this in, like so. Put your backing piece on, get your little mold with the open side down, and press it on top. Now I probably can't get this in with just my fingers, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a little hammer. And that's going to come out perfect. So you'll see, I've isolated that diamond right in there. Everything is nicely put together all the way along the edges. I'm going to use the one and an eighth inch button cover again. And you'll see, it's going to go straight over this little heart. So again, putting it upside down and getting it centered over that mold so that I can isolate that little heart. And this one I'll be able to press. Then you heard the snap. Pop it out, and you've got a little heart on your button. And the last button I'll demonstrate for you is a half inch button. And this is really typical of women's fashion. This is what they use for wedding dresses and any formal wear that they have out there. So, um, what I'm going to attempt to do is to use a thicker drapery fabric. And then the little tool that comes with this uh, has a little attachment to it. So it's open on the bottom and you're just going to press this down into the mold. And I have a lot of extra fabric here so this all needs to be trimmed off. And with this button and this thickness of fabric, this really needs to be about an eighth of an inch away from that edge of the button. Otherwise you're going to have a difficult time getting all this fabric tucked in 
and getting it to line up perfectly. So let's just tuck this in as best we can with our fingers and then we'll use this little tool and get the little tool in there and press this down into the center of that button making sure that you've got all your fabric tucked in nicely. Get your little set piece centered on there and press it in place. Now if you feel like it's not seated and you didn't hear a nice snap you can feel free to grab a hammer and just tap it in place. Perfect. Pop it out and you have a cute little button with a nice little leaf motif. So I have some ideas for you. If you have pinch pleated draperies, goblet pleated draperies, this is such a great way to dress up ordinary drapes. You can take one of these buttons and you can put them at every single intersection where they're pleated. And you can do this in any size button you have. Now I have some little tiny ones too. Um, they work a little better if you've got smaller pleats and, or even if you have sheer draperies that are pleated. These look so great if there is a little contrast button at every single pleat. It just looks like beautiful little soldiers all in a line hanging on the window. And if you have inverted pleats, meaning that the pleat is to the back side, you can take little tiny buttons and you can line them up all along this little pleat line, like so. And it makes it look like a tuxedo. It's just so nice and crisp and really elegant looking. And I would encourage you to play around with twill tape because this is a great way to embellish throw pillows. You can do this as a no-sew project. You can use a low temperature glue gun and you can glue your twill tape on on either edge and even glue the buttons on in place. As long as they're at regular intervals, it'll work out perfectly. And you'll see with this twill tape, it has design on the front, but you can see how you can almost manipulate the pattern by placing buttons at different intervals and getting a totally different look out of it. Now I wouldn't recommend using these patterns on top of this necessarily, but look at what this button does for it. It creates a beautiful contrast to the rest of the monotone colors on the rest of the pillow and helps you pull in a different color into your decor. So it's a great way to coordinate everything in your room together. And many of us have table runners that have a little point at the ends and they're not embellished and so we can go ahead and add something like this. So we've all seen tassels like this and wonder what on earth are we going to do with them. Well here's a great idea. So you can take this tassel, line everything up with the very tip of that fabric, come to the very middle of this little loop and you're going to glue this down in place with a dab of glue and some hot. So what you're going to wind up with are two little butterfly wings here that are kind of flapping out in the breeze. But You'll take your button and you'll put another dab of glue over this little tip to hide all of the stuff. So this is a great way to use all of these little embellishments, hiding it with a beautifully covered button and making this thing look extra special. I hope I've shown you just how easy it is to make a fabric covered button and you'll see the ideas are endless. You can use these for Christmas decorations, you can use these for anything to embellish your fabric coverings around your house, uh, whether it's a duvet cover, a pillow, a table runner, anything you can think of, go ahead and attach fabric covered buttons to it because it'll wind up looking extra special every time you do it. It's not that difficult, you can sew it or you can glue it. So it's really, really your choice and it's easy every single time. And if you can't find jewelry to match your outfit, go ahead and make a couple of fabric covered buttons and they'll do the job. So this is Renee Romeo from ReneeRomeo.com. Thank you so much for watching this project and I'll bring you another great one in the future.